Good evening and welcome to the Roundup Rodeo, the show where we recap and recover what happened this past week and give you all a fresh start to your week, well-informed. Stick right here. This is Volt News Network. Early in the week, we saw court cases affecting the Trump court cases with two unexpected plea deals being made. There was a military drill taking place off the coast of Japan that had some neighbors like China upset and showing their own military force. The Five Eyes Security Conference took place a little before last week, but digested words from that summit took hold this past week, with China fallen under the official crosshairs of the United States intelligence agencies. We saw Hamas militants release more hostages, with ongoing Israeli raids and airstrikes in the region, and a hypothetical ground invasion of Gaza being discussed all week long. American and Chinese diplomats and officials met to discuss a potential meeting between the leaders of China and the United States next month. The world's former richest man warned of the potential for World War III. The United States deployed more troops to the Middle East. We restocked Israel with more Iron Dome missiles. And a retired admiral made a grave warning about our potential future. Representative James Michael Johnson won the nomination in the vote to become the new Speaker of the House of Representatives of the United States. The United Auto Union reached a tentative deal with Ford and Stellantis, but expanded their strike in on GM, and no deal is set in stone just yet. Multiple stories emerged about potential terrorists crossing the border illegally in the South. The actors' union SAG-AFTRA saw extension and negotiation of their strike this week, with uncertain talks going into the weekend. A Category 5 hurricane ripped through Mexico this week into the weekend. Many people lost their lives and recovery efforts are still ongoing. This is unrelated to the potential hurricane in the Atlantic that we covered this week. The week saw an expansion of Palestinian and Jewish protests and demonstrations, with some calling for the shutdown of public services and roadways as a means to an end. This is about all that we covered or saw coming this time. We hope you enjoyed yet another week of our coverage here on Volt News Network. Enjoy the rest of your night, and we will see you back tomorrow. Good night.